Hey everybody, Snake here, and um, it's currently day one of Escape from Tarkov version 0.12. I've been uh, waiting really long for this version, mainly because uh, it's the version where I start to record YouTube videos on, and only one specific video type is like, you know, like a progressive gameplay i'm not gonna do any guides because i've tried that on other channels but that's not something i am anyways first thing i am com currently interested in is the hideout this thing is i've been looking forward to this thing since i realized there was a hideout security basic front door um it does not save from drafts and moisture but i I don't know what this is and it's asking for 20,000 uh, rubles to upgrade it and I'm not gonna it's probably just to uh, look nice can I walk around here oh yeah I can let's just go ahead and uh, look around a bit lavatory okay these are aesthetics off rate full weapon customization for a workbench gonna need a bolts screws and a leatherman multi-tool could probably buy this or find this haven't really found this in like the previous versions i did illumination that's another uh, aesthetic vans that's another aesthetic let's make it look nice uh med station all right let's see here Twenty thousand rubles to increase health regeneration raid out of raid plus you can craft meds crafting meds hmm interesting and heating heating increases energy regeneration i wonder if this works offline so let's say like i get myself killed in raid and then i like you know rage quit or something and uh, i come back my character is fully fully healed and fully nourished that that would be interesting it's pretty long let's go ahead and enter and look around open stash It's pretty dark in here you know let's go ahead and um, unlock this mad station it only costs 20,000 rubles and it's instant and it will allow me to craft mats which I'm quite curious about okay so I can basically looks off uh, in 22 minutes I can combine a few things to create a car mat kit why is it not I mean, impossible to start production without fuel Ah, fuel. Interesting. And uh, if I want it level 2, I'm going to need medical blood set, saline solution, got a therapist level 2, and level 2 in healing skill. Interesting. I mean, level 2 in health and 50,000 rubles. Ah, so you can also scroll down, and there's much, much more things that which are locked, which I couldn't see at the beginning. Oh, what about the stash? Let's see the stash. It's currently 10 by 26. Uh, I'm pulling on a standard account, obviously. And to upgrade it to level 2, I'm going to need something like a hand drill. And that looks like it's going to be rare to find. Uh, these are not going to be a problem. And, whoa, 3.5 million rubles to increase it by uh, by this much. Interesting. All right, let's exit the hideout. So we now have a new goal to make money <laughs> to upgrade a stash, but that's not going to be the very first goal. All right, my very first goal is actually to find the new pistol, specifically the FS-98, or I don't even know what it's called. Oh, you can buy a PSO right off the bat without without actually um, needing to get level 2 proper. That's nice. And this looks like a new item, M-Rig, for 10k. It has 8 container slots. Wait, is there a scav vest or can you no longer buy those? Because I don't see a scav vest over here. I feel like they removed it and you can only find scav vests and, you know, scavs. Who could this be it? Nope, MP5. Ooh, is this it? Is this it? Oh, it's called an M9A3. Yep, this is the thing I'm looking for. This thing. And it, it's uh, $115 and $115 is... 12,000 rubles. Oh, wow. That is much cheaper than the 226R. If you were to buy it, it's probably uh, sold on uh, level 2 Peacekeeper or 
something else. I'm going to go right ahead and it looks like I can't examine this thing because it glitched out. I'm going to go ahead and examine pretty much everything. I think I crashed. Okay, I can't start Ragman until level 15. Skier until level 5. I know Peacekeepers after Skier. Therapist, let's see what Therapist wants. Therapist wants 5 Saleva kits. So I'll be on the lookout of that and uh, put them in my container to save them. And Proper wants to kill 5 scavs on Customs and hand over MP133 shotguns to unlock an AK-74U. We're not going to be doing that right now. We are going to be doing a scav run on Woods, uh, my favorite map. My scav has the very crappy Mosin without a sight, which I absolutely don't know how to use. So uh, this is going to be a quick run uh, to see what I can uh, scavenge up and uh, qu leave quickly as I can. All right, screw this. I'm just going to come back tomorrow when the s servers are much more stable. Uh, this is giving me like a good old headache. Jumping right into our first customs map and it uh, looks like the FPS is quite unfavorable right now so I might have to uh, tinker a bit with the options uh, after the raid but let's go ahead and go to the containers uh, I really don't know what it's called but it's in that location right there we'll probably meet a few PMC's uh, currently we are looking for uh, scav kills and shotguns uh, for that mission up there we have one scav up. Yeah, I saw that. This is quite unfavorable. He has something long range. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of this area. My, my PMM's not going to do jack shit in this battle. It's inside the warehouse. There was a battle right there. You can see it by the blood stains. Also, uh, movement feels much, much different. That looked like a scav, but I'm not sure. The scavs did have their movements switched up. That's a shotgun scout. That's very scary right there. Being that close. Good thing he missed. Alright, this is my last mag. And that's close. Gonna sit right here and repack. Am I blind? Oh, that's a player. 
movement. Oh, that's a smart player. I mean, smart scav. <laughs> wow, the scabs got smarter. Oh, I knew it. Lovely.